Why Katherine Heigl declined the role of Kate on Firefly Lane. How Sarah Chalk's real-life Tully influenced her career. And why Ben Lawson decided to keep his Aussie accent for the part of Johnny. Hi, I'm Janet. Let's dive in. Katherine Heigl as Tully Hart Having risen to fame as Izzy Stevens on Grey's Anatomy, she hardly needs any introduction. Apart from this long-running Shonda Rhimes show, Heigl appeared in the eighth season of Suits and comedies like Knocked Up and The Ugly Truth. Despite all these previous roles, Catherine, who prefers to be called Katie, was immediately taken by the script of Firefly Lane. This role in the script was the culmination I had been hoping for for years, she shared with Glamour. I felt it in my soul. There was no saying no to something like this. Amazingly, the actress was given the choice of playing Tully or Kate. And as she admitted, it was a tough one. Heigl spent a good week going back and forth because initially she felt that she understood Kate better and it would be easier to psychologically dive into that character. But then she decided she wanted a real challenge, to play a character that was unlike her. So she chose to be brave and try playing Tully, which was definitely a good move. Katie prepared for the role, keeping Kristen Hanna's book as very much a touchstone. I wish every part I played was a novel that I could read first, revealed Heigl. It really helped me understand Tully and slip into her skin. Fortunately, Katie found her true love much faster than the character she plays. 13 years into marriage, she thinks it's important to tell the stories that are relevant to women of all ages. Heigl married the singer and songwriter Josh Kelly in 2007, two years after they met on the set of his music video, Only You. On their 12th wedding anniversary, Heigl shared a sweet post on Instagram about their relationship, writing, I am damn grateful that he found me, that I found him, that we have somehow miraculously bettered each other. The couple shared three children. They adopted Nally from South Korea in 2009, Adelaide in 2012 from the US, and four years ago, Katie gave birth to a son, Joshua. The family resides in Oakley, Utah, where they can all be closer to nature and to each other. Ali Scobie as Teenage Tully. If this young actress looks familiar to you, there's a reason why. Ali has been working since she was a little kid. Since the age of eight, she started appearing in guest roles in shows like Smallville and Supernatural. She has also been in the series When Calls the Heart and Once Upon a Time. By the way, Yale Yerman, who plays Kate's daughter Mara, also appeared on the latter. But appearing in a Netflix show is a totally different level. No wonder the 18-year-old actress called the role of young, rebellious Tully a dream come true. And Scobie has lots of hopes for the 70s version of Tully in the second season. I think it'd be so cute if Kate had a little awkward first encounter, and then Tully can kind of help her through it and all that. I think it needs to happen. And as for Allie herself, it seems like she's single and loves to spend her free time with her sister and friends. Sarah Chalk as Kate Malarkey Incredibly, Sarah has more than 70 acting credits to her name, and she's been acting since childhood. But you probably know her best as Elliot from Scrubs and Stella from How I Met Your Mother. Despite her experience, playing Kate on Firefly Lane was kind of a challenge, as she had to play her character through all those time periods and ages. And that is one of the main reasons why Sarah fell in love with the role of Kate immediately. That's a unique thing that I've never had the opportunity to do before and that I was really excited about. And in doing it, it was even more fun than I had anticipated playing 20 again. Chalk revealed that she felt connected to the story of Kate and Tully because in real life, she also has a friend, Jen, whom she met in kindergarten. Amazingly, Jen also played a huge part in her career as they moved to LA together. Fortunately, their real life dramas weren't as big. As Sarah joked, her and Jen's biggest problem was over cereal. Chalk is in a long term relationship with lawyer Jamie Afifi. They met in 2003 and got engaged three years later during a trip to Hawaii. The couple has a son, Charlie, who is now 11, and a daughter, Frances, who is four. Rowan Curtis as Teenage Kate. Similar to her co-star, Ali Scobie, Curtis also started her career in guest roles on shows like Smallville and Supernatural. But her breakthrough role was Sylvia in sci-fi fans' favorite series, The Magicians. Fans who fell in love with the shy 14-year-old Kate on Firefly Lane might be surprised to learn that in real life, the actress is nothing like her character. First of all, Rowan is 24 years old, and according to her Instagram, she's got a totally different vibe going on. She has a lot of close friends, most of whom she's known for over a decade. Curtis also has a boyfriend named Jim. They first met when she was 17, 
and she thinks it was love at first sight. I remember being instantly taken by how effortlessly funny he was. How light his presence made me feel, Curtis wrote on their anniversary. The couple are apparently too young to think about kids, but they share a fur baby, Gremlin the cat. Just like her castmates, Rowan has high hopes for Firefly Lane season two. Most of all, she would like Kate to have a true 1970s house party. And we as the fans agree that those party scenes need to happen. John Michael Ecker as Max Brody. Plenty of viewers seem to agree that this Brazilian-American actor was one of the main draws to the series. By the way, John is not as young as his character. In real life, he is actually 37 years old. Born in Texas, Ecker is best known for his roles in Queen of the South and Narcos. You might have also spotted him on Criminal Minds and Chicago Fire. Despite his father being a Spanish telenovela star, John didn't always want to be an actor. Before finding fame, he got a degree in aquatic biology and worked as a research diver for five years. Ecker's Instagram account shows that he still prefers to spend his time enjoying the great outdoors, on boats, sitting by campfires, and taking in the wildlife. It also shows that since 2019, John has been dating a model and actress, Laura James, who appeared on America's Next Top Model. Ben Lawson as Johnny Ryan Although in Kristen Hanna's book, Johnny is American, Ben Lawson decided to keep his accent for the part of Johnny. It feels true that this Australian guy could end up in this loveless job in Washington, he explains. I found a version of the Aussie accent that was right. A rough, whiskey-drinking guy. Lawson has been a working actor for over a decade, appearing in projects like The Good Place and 13 Reasons Why. In addition to his acting career, in 2020, Ben became a published author. Just last year, he penned an illustrated book called To My Country about the Australian bushfires, the proceeds of which go to the Koala Hospital. Amazingly, Ben Lawson thinks that he is more like his character Johnny than he'd like to admit. The darkness that he has, how he overthinks things. He can really get in his head and get in his own way, and I've been known to do that. Probably that's why his favorite scenes on the show were from the period when Johnny is in his 20s. The actor liked the carefree vibe of the 80s, including the partying, the clothes, and the hair, even though he had to wear a wig. And of course, shooting scenes with Katherine Heigl and Sarah Chalk was always fun. It turns out Ben had already worked with Chalk on a pilot 10 years ago, and with Heigl in 2016 on the show Doubt. So once they all got together on Firefly Lane, they just started making each other laugh. To our great surprise, the 40-year-old Lawson is currently single. In a recent interview, he revealed that in 2019, he broke up with his girlfriend of four years. And since then, he hadn't dated much and is just happy by himself. However, he is not totally alone. Ben is always accompanied by a lovely dog named Mochi, whom the actor calls his little prince. Patrick Sabongi as Chad Wiley. Tully's professor and love interest is portrayed by the Canadian actor and stunt performer Patrick Sabongi. Throughout his career, he has appeared in dozens of one-off roles on numerous TV shows. He is best known as David Singh on The Flash and also appeared in the show's Homeland and Beyond. Patrick lives in Los Angeles and Vancouver with his wife Kira Sigorski, who is also an actress. The couple share two children, a son and a daughter. Brandon J. McLaren as Travis. There is more than one love triangle happening in Firefly Lane, and Kate's love interest, Travis, is part of one of them. Surprisingly, McLaren's character is not featured in the novel and was written specifically for the Netflix series. The 40-year-old actor was born in Canada and has been acting since the age of 12. He won a full soccer scholarship to play football at the University of Albany and took a break from acting. Brandon revealed that he soon wanted to start acting again, but his mother told him to finish his degree in human biology. But as soon as he got his degree, McLaren returned to Vancouver to pursue his career. He appeared in Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, alongside his Firefly Lane castmate, Bo Garnett, and was recently seen in Ransom and Chicago Fire. It turns out, Brandon was thrilled to work with Sarah Chalk. I used to watch her on Scrubs before my career really started to take off, he shared, and I was such a fan to be able to work opposite her and I find myself pinching myself in the middle of a scene. McLaren was married to a Hollywood publicist, Mika Tennant, but unfortunately, the couple divorced in 2014. Since then, the actor has kept any relationships under the radar. Jenna Rose now as Kimber Watts. Our new favorite love to hate girl is played by the Australian actress, Jenna Rose now. 
Even though Kimber is really mean, it's hard to totally dislike her because Jenna is simply charming and fun to watch on screen. Firefly Lane is actually her first recurring role on a big American TV show. But she is known as Amber in the long-running Aussie soap opera, Neighbors. And recently, she appeared as Jane Austen in DC's Legends of Tomorrow. By the way, the Neighbors series did just make Jenna a star. She met her future husband on set. Rose Now and actor Christopher Milligan say it was love at first sight. The two have been together for seven years and got engaged this January. Chris shared a picture of both of them enjoying a romantic beach picnic at sunset with an open ring box on the table. The post was immediately flooded with messages of congratulations from their neighbors' co-stars. And you can join them too! So, are you already waiting for the second season of Firefly Lane? Don't be shy to share with us in the comments! And watch our other videos about your favorite shows!